Hi, I'm Ishan Nand, co-host of JavaScript Jam, and welcome to the Composability Summit 2022. We hope you enjoy the next few days of talks and panels. But before we get started, I just want to kick things off with a few minutes about what composability is and why it's so important. So no doubt you've probably heard terms like Jamstack or Smokestack or API First or micro front ends or microservices. And what these all have in common is a universal theme of composability. That is the ability to build and rebuild your stack as business needs change and evolve. Let's use an analogy from the folks at Mega that makes this a little more concrete. So let's say you buy a Lego set, something like this. And you could take those bricks and you could use the instructions to build, hey, this nice little T-Rex here. But then you could actually take it apart and use those same set of bricks to build a different animal, completely different like this pterodactyl or maybe this triceratops or really anything you could imagine. And what these all have in common is this assumption that you can take these same pieces and build different animals or different artifacts. Similarly, in composability, the idea is that you can take a finite set of enterprise parts, whether that's applications and capabilities, and construct an arbitrary number of outputs as your business needs change. And just like with Legos, the magic resides in the hand of the team or the creator that constructs the experience and not necessarily the bricks or the instructions. Composability isn't just for developer happiness, it has a real ROI in terms of productivity. Gardner, for example, has said that teams that adopt a composable approach will outpace their competition by 80% in the implementation of new features. It was so important, they named it one of their 2022 top tech trends, especially in a post-pandemic turbulent time. A great example of that is Universal Standard. The apparel store had to shutter all their stores because of the pandemic. And it was at that time their CTO, Justin Metros, decided to migrate to composable architecture using Nuxt, Shopify, and a variety of other tools. They not only boosted team productivity, but also increased conversions by 200%. Justin is now the CTO of Toklas, and one of the speakers today discussing his lessons in using composability to reinvent technology teams. And this isn't just for e-commerce companies. What you're seeing here is the data from McKinsey and Company that found companies that have developer teams that iterate the fastest and the best developer velocity also grow their top line revenue the fastest. And this isn't just for technology companies, this is across all sectors. And we see this in the data from the Mock Alliance. Companies are being pulled literally towards a composable architecture driven by the need to have a faster implementation time for digital experiences. And the biggest barrier isn't understanding the benefits. It's actually the resistance to change and figuring out how to decompose their existing stack to a composable architecture. That's where the Composability Summit and Composability.dev come in. Over the next few days, we'll have a series of talks to introduce composability and we'll even be building on this material in the weeks and months ahead to help you understand how composability can improve your stack and your team. We hope you find it useful. Sit back and enjoy.